time for a tag. <laughs> but today is uh, Wednesday, June 17th, and I was tagged by Joan over at Joan's Pointed Plate for a Tuesday tag. Um, Tracy over Trials of a Long Hair Girl does these every Tuesday. I was tagged. I didn't notice it till last night. So it's a Tuesday tag on a Wednesday. How's that sound? I like that. I like the sound of that. But uh, I'm glad you tagged me. I am going to tag um, Robbie over at Frecky Fit Wolf, Gina at Gina Pearson, um, Ange over at Smack Vision, and um, Chelsea over at Mom in Her 30s. Those are the people I'm going to tag. So go. I'll leave a link to their channels down below. I'm also going to leave a link to, to Joan's channel and also to Tracy's channel. Uh, so go over there and see what their answers are. So let's get started because we know I'm a little long-winded sometimes. Um, the name of the tag is Fashion and Style, this or that. I'm going to be looking down at my iPad for the uh, questions. Uh, jeans and a tee or a suit? Either one, either if it's a man or a woman, jeans and a tee. I just think that you just look so sharp. And, and a nice pair of jeans, not a ratty old pair of jeans that you've had since the 30s, you know. Um, a, a good pair of jeans and a nice t-shirt. Not like the t-shirt on that commercial where the guy has not a U, has a U-neck instead of a V-neck. Um, you can look pretty sharp. You really can look pretty sharp. Uh, I prefer to wear jeans. I wear jeans all winter. Um, I wear them in the summer and on cool evenings. And um, I wear t-shirts all year round, along with flannel shirts. Uh, number two, a dress or pants. Do you know me? I don't own a dress. I, um, I bought a dress for my son's wedding. And then I bought another dress for my other son's wedding. Oh, you know what? I did buy a dress for Christy's wedding, too. And then when Danny got married the second time, I bought uh, a skirt and blouse. I still have the skirt and blouse. The blouse is too big. The skirt's probably too big, too. Uh, it reminds me of how much I hate wearing a dress. When I was working at Montgomery Wards, I'm sorry if you're new to my channel, I, or if you're just tuning in this time, I always get sidetracked. That's just who I am. Uh, maybe that's why I don't get tagged every week. <laughs> People say, she's boring. <laughs> she tells too many damn stories. <laughs> but anyway, uh, when I was working at Montgomery Wards, and I was, at the time, I was... 37 and there was this young guy he was 23 and he had like a baby face and I always used to tease him and he teased me back and you know like we just had a we had a good fun relationship not, not a relationship that sounds like bad friendship we had a good friendship you know like a work friendship we didn't really see each other outside of work but um, he had such a baby face and he always said how come you never wear a dress what if they changed the dress code and you had to wear a dress and I go, oh, you'll never see me in a dress. And he says, oh, I bet you I can see you in a dress. And I go, well, I'll tell you what. If you can grow a beard, a full beard, and wear it for a whole month, then I'll wear a dress. And damn it, that guy didn't grow a beard. I thought he had a baby face. No, he didn't. He just shaved it like a baby face because he grew a beard. And he kept it for a month. And so I had to go out, and I had to buy a dress, and then I had to buy a slip, and I had to buy the nylons, because back then you were, or pantyhose, because back then you wore pantyhose. And then I had to buy some shoes. I think when it was all said and done, I ended up spending like $75. And then I had to wear it to work. And I had to wear it on a long day because uh, we had short days like 10 to 5 where you had a long day where you worked 10 to 9. Uh, I had to wear it for the long day, 10 to 9. And I had to wear that damn dress all day long. And every time he walked by me, he'd chuckle. And I was like, ah. And then the very next day, he shaved his beard off. <laughs> I never wore the dress again. I donated it. But anyway, so mine is definitely pants. Uh, number three, formal, formal or casual? You know, I think you look really sharp when you're formal. I do like to get really dressed up, like when I go to a wedding or something. I actually do put a little bit of makeup on. Not a lot, but a little bit of makeup on. And I just feel so elegant. But uh, for the most part, I'm casual. I haven't been to a wedding in years. And uh, so I haven't dressed up like that in a long time. But uh, a man in a tuxedo? Mm, melts my heart. They just look so sharp. Just like, and I don't know why. It's just like a suit. It really is. But something about a tuxedo. A man in a tuxedo. It'll get me every time. Harrison Ford in a tuxedo. Oh, if he walked in the door now, I'd say, that's the end of my video. <laughs> my family says, he's so old. I'm going, he's not that much older than me. I don't see it. Anyway, uh, sneakers or dress shoes? Um, sneakers. I don't have any dress shoes. None. I have a pair of Fancy looking black shoes that really could pass for a tennis shoe. 
that I wear with my dress pants because I've reached an age people don't look at my feet so I don't really care I want to be safe and secure on the floor when I'm walking and uh, I used to have like when I did get dressed up when I had to go to a wedding and wear a dress I did have like a I guess they would be called pumps see that just shows you I'm not really a girl I don't think I'm really a girl because I don't know the jargon for everything but I think if you only have like a little one inch heel it's called a pump or is that a flat no a flats no heel anyway that's neither here nor there. I have a pair of black shoes that uh, where are my dress shoes, which aren't really dress shoes, but sneakers. I probably have probably about 12 pairs of sneakers. Uh, and I match my outfits with my shoes. That's about the only thing I do. I'm really, I got a shoe fetish now that I think about it. But I hate feet, so I don't know why. That's, that's odd. Um, Sandals or high heels? Well, we know I don't wear high heels because I just explained that. I don't wear sandals either, but if I had to choose between the two, I'd pick sandals. I don't feel comfortable walking in a sandal. Um, maybe I just haven't found the right sandal, but uh, I, haven't, uh, I haven't worn sandals in a long time. I have like, um, I guess they're really called shower shoes. That when I go to the lake, when we go to the cottage just to walk down to the beach, you just slip them on. Maybe they're considered sandals, I don't know. But no, to go out, I always wear a tennis shoe. Makeup or none? Let me think. Hmm. None. I've told this story before when my son Danny was getting married and I was in the store and I was looking at makeup and somebody had come up to me and they says, oh, you know, they were looking at the makeup and I go, oh, you look like you wear makeup. You look, you look really pretty. And so they go, well, why? And I explained that I was going to my son's wedding and I never wore makeup. And she spent a good hour with me in the makeup counter looking for the right shades, you know, putting them on your hands so you could see with your flesh tone and you know, coming up with all of this stuff. And when we got all done, she says, well, I hope you have fun at the wedding. And I says, oh, thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. I just wish there was a way I could show you how I look after I put all this makeup on. And she says, I'm sure you'll look fine. And with that, grabbed me, hugged me, and kissed me on the lips. Oh, right now I would probably faint <laughs> for sure. But, uh, and then she left. And I thought, thank goodness I didn't get her name or number because I, she was a little too close, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but, uh, so I don't wear makeup. I don't even have any makeup in the house now that I'm thinking about it. No, I don't have no makeup. Um, open floor for living, dining, kitchen area, or separated by walls and doors. Right now my house, well you've seen my house if you've seen my, any of my walking around in it. Uh, it's pretty an open concept. My living room and dining room are all like one big room. And my kitchen only has the one wall to separate it because you can get in from either side on the door walls. and. Uh, but if I had my preference, I would like to have my dining room in a separate room. I don't mind the living room and the kitchen being kind of open concept because of when I'm preparing dinner, if I'm watching something on TV, I can still see the TV or hear the TV and kind of know what's going on. But uh, my dream home would be to have like a really big uh, kitchen with a little like breakfast nook and then uh, a, f a formal dining room, a formal living room a great room just like to hang out and then my bedroom's a little small office but uh that'll, that'll never... there's this one piece of land that every time we would go by church i'd always tell jim when we win the lottery i'm going to buy this piece of land and i'm going to build a house on it and uh, so he said oh okay you know whatever he knew that was never going to happen because you got to buy a ticket to win the lottery that's the first step it's a clue if you want to win the lottery the first step is buy a ticket so anyway, somebody finally bought the property. I was really bummed, and I thought, oh, I can't wait to see the house that they put on it. They put four houses on it. <laughs> I had such a vision of my house, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, and they're all nice, good-sized houses. Sometime I should show you my dream house. I'd love to go in that house. I'd love, I'd love to buy it. Maybe one time if I drive by it, I'll film it. I'll stop and film it, and then I'll get arrested. Um, electric or gas for a cook stove? definitely a gas stove. When we rent the cottage that we rent, it's an electric stove and I have a very hard time with that. It's, it's a whole new learning curve, but uh, I, I like a gas stove better. Sun porch or deck? We've talked about making this deck into a sun porch and then we have a deck down on the bottom down here, so I would have both, but uh, I don't know that we're... Jim seems to think that we're going to stay here forever and ever I seem to think that we're going to get a retirement home. I know we're retired, but I just think when we get older, we should live in a community where 
there's somebody to keep it. Well, you know, my neighbors take really good care of us. They really do. We have really good neighbors, and they're always watching out for us. So I don't know. But anyway, this I'd like this to be a sunroom. Like not, not so much a sunroom, an all-seasons room that I could come out here either in the winter or the summer. But, uh, yeah, that would be my hope. Um, farmhouse kitchen or galley style? Definitely a farmhouse style kitchen. I love them. My kitchen is, I don't know, kind of like a galley, I guess. I don't know. It's got an island in the middle, and it's really kind of small, the kitchen itself. But, uh, you know, it serves its purpose. But, oh, definitely a farmhouse kitchen. Modern or rustic? Rustic. I'm not a big fan of modern. I haven't seen too many modern pieces that I like. And uh, retro or antique, or as we call it in my family, antique. Um, I think my house is pretty much retro. We have some of the furniture that we bought when we first got married. We have the end tables that... Uh, we bought when we first got married in 19... Well, we got married in 1971. We bought the end tables in 1972. The couch has seen its days. So the couches are gone. And we still have the lamps that uh, Jim made in 7th grade shop. <laughs> See, you know what? If there's a purpose for something, it stays It stays in my house. It really does. But uh, And then I do have an antique uh, smoke cabinet that was Jim's grandmother's um, that my son Jimmy's going to take once, you know... We go to the great beyond but uh other than that i don't think i have anything i had a really nice old old sewing machine at this one house that i was living at and nobody wanted to move it so we left it it was one of those singers that went into the cabinet and folded down and you had to pull it up and it was a piece of furniture or it could be the sewing machine it was like from the 1930s i could kick myself that i didn't make them take that not that i ever sewed on it but it was a nice little piece of furniture so anyway um that's going to do it. I really, you know, you wouldn't think I'd get hummingbird, hummingbirds so close to the pool with the kids there, but I do get a lot of hummingbirds on that feeder, and I don't understand why. We used to have an owl there, but it was the birds used to sit on the owl. <laughs> a lot of good that did. But uh, anyway, as a reminder, I'm ta taping. I'm tie tying. I'm not going to tie you up, and I'm not going to tape you up either. I am tagging Robbie over at Frecky Fit Wolf. Gina and Gina Pearson, Angela over at Smack Vision, and Chelsea over at Mom in Her 30s. So go over and check out their channels, and 13 minutes, that's not too bad for me. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do a um, daily vlog. On Saturdays, I do a meeting highlights. Um, occasionally, not very often, but I do a cook with me. And I do like to do shout outs. I like to encourage other people's channels. So um, that's it. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment like share you know the you know the drill so always stay safe